What up, y'all? It's time to do another eBay break. We're going to be doing 2018 Heritage Baseball. Four box break number 10, eBay style. All right. Let me go ahead and open this up before I do. Good luck, everybody. What kind of giveaways, Rara? Like break credit, product, TVs. Ooh. Yeah, we actually hired, or I think, no, did we? Yeah, I think we're going to pick up another sorter at some point. Whoa. Well, I don't know why I took the whole thing out. I'm just going to pick four random boxes before I uh, make this any worse. Boom. Four random boxes have been chosen. I should have just left it in. Whatever. Got it. Rah, rah. Yeah, we need to pick up another sorter. The uh, the girls are starting to get overwhelmed. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, dude, Jason's been sorting breaks too, man. I've been sorting breaks, so it's it's been like a all hands on deck kind of deal with with shipping, man. We've been doing a lot of breaks recently, not only in the store but also on eBay. Store's been picking up, you know. You probably don't think so, rah rah, but the store has picked up. Uh, you know, just people want new releases. Like select basketball, I didn't get enough of that. That's that's already sold out. Contenders optic might be too expensive for people. Heritage and Donruss people are only interested in Otani. So for that, I probably should have put that as a random team break or something like that. All right. 
right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Nice. There he is. And Otani for the Angels. Base. Very sweet. Nope. Very, very valid points, Rara. I don't think that's a base short print. No. Otani in the first box. Have yet to hit an Otani autograph, though. Got to random these flashback cards, too. And those. Only way to catch the variations is to look at the back of the card. This is one. Yomer Sanchez, White Sox. Deco for Bryce Harper Nationals Not bad for the first uh, box there in Otani base That's like a $200 card Ryan Braun Brewers Short print. The reason I say that is because, you know, that's what it's been selling for on, on eBay. No, for sure, Rara, -Ra, you're you're absolutely correct. A lot of valid points. And, you know, at the end of the day, I did ask you. So, again, thank you for always being, you know, straight up honest with me. John Gray of the Rockies with a patch. That's a base short print. Matt Harvey, Mets. All right, not old Deco. For the Rockies, Jose Abreu of the White Sox, number to 569. Yeah, the other, the Heat are balling. The Heat are balling. But uh, it's still the third quarter. Definitely, Raro. Definitely. Brad Ziegler, Marlins, base short print. The black border for the Cardinals, Mejia Alcantara, Alcantara, Cardinals. All right, that's one box down. Keep it going. Well, Delbert, you know you don't get a free box just because you buy a team, right? The way the giveaway works, if you buy a team, you get a chance at a free box. You just don't automatically get a free box for buying a team. That's point number one. Uh, point number two, 
as far as how to get the fifteen dollar uh, off credit, you gotta follow those instructions right there at the top right corner of your screen. Check our website out, ripcitycards.com. Register for an account, and we'll automatically email you the code, which you can use to save fifteen dollars off uh, the website. The code does not work for eBay. Only for the website. So to get the code, you got to register, bro. Uh, no, Delbert. And I don't... I mean, I, I can't really see how that could be confusing, to be honest with you, but... No. You buy a team, you get a shot at a box. Uh, JSM... For the WWE, I can sell it to you. It's 2017 WWE Undisputed. I could sell you a box for 250. So Delbert, that's that's how it works, man. There's there's 30 teams in the break, right? I'm giving away two boxes, so two of those 30 spots are gonna win a box. So if you buy two teams, you could potentially win two boxes. You can buy one team and potentially win a box, but no. You, there, there is no guarantee. It's all a gamble, Delbert. So JSM, I got I do have a case of it. I got one loose box. I could sell you that last orphan at a, a pretty cheap. You know, I'll sell you that orphan box at Fuck it, I'll, I'll sell it at 220, that that last orphan box. But if you want it out of a fresh case, it'll be 250. It's 2017 WWE Undisputed. So Delbert, uh, I hope you, under you, you understood. So is that you who just sent me an email, Delbert? I, I just got an email from a Mr. Lewis. I think that might be you. So Delbert, like I said, as far as the $15 off code, I see you didn't save it on the Rangers. So we got two options. I could refund you the $15. Or you can register, get the code, and save $15 on your next purchase. How, how would you like me to, to, to proceed? Uh, JSM. I have one loose box that I can sell you at 220, but if you want it out of a fresh case, it would be 250. JSM. Yeah, I checked it. It's you know boxes are selling for about 270, 260 uh, on other you know other websites, Amazon, blah blah blah. Let's see what we got in this. Yeah, I don't think this stream is working anymore. All right, here we go. Deco for Joey Votto of the Reds. All right, Delbert. Well, listen, this is what I'm going to do, Delbert. I got no problem refunding you the $15. However... If I notice that you you randomly saved fifteen dollars on a purchase, that's gonna tell me that you went ahead and registered and took the fifteen dollar code as well, on top of the refund they gave you. 
which is, you know, a little sneaky. I'm not saying you're going to do that, but I have had people do this. So, Delbert, if you do decide to do that, I'm going to have a little, we're going to have to have a little discussion. So, you let me know how you want me to do it. I can refund you the $15, no problem. Or you can go ahead and register, get the $15 off code, use it for a future purchase. Just know, if I refund you and I notice you use the code, we're going to have words. Because that's not cool. So let me know how you'd like me to proceed, and I got you, bro. The Astros, Jake Marisnik. That's a base short print. Man, the Heat are whipping ass right now. Blue Jays, Black Border, Devon, Travis. I think the stream's lagging a little bit, so close some stuff there. That's another big short print for the Padres, Brad Hand. Got a random the flashback card. Cody Bellinger of the Dodgers. Chrome. That's number to 999. I hit that Otani base. That was pretty sweet, but some ink would have been even sweeter. Let's see what's here. Check the store. Got an action image right there for Clayton Kershaw, Dodgers. Very cool. Zach Cozart of the Angels. Hit that Mike Trout auto a few nights ago. That was sick. Red Ink to Max Scherzer Nationals. Patch. Got two boxes left. It's a big short print. Steven Matz, Mets. Carlos Correa, Astros Deco. Back here. And that's a short print as well. Hyunjin Ryu of the Dodgers short print. And I need to get into into the batting cages. Some of these dudes look out of shape like a M ever. If I could hit the long ball, baby, I'm in there. I can sign with the Marlins, baby. I know a guy that knows a guy. Oh, 
Alright, put this away. Or to the side, I should say. Two boxes left. This stuff, as you can see, takes a little minute. A lot of cards in every box. Nope, oh, okay. Another 69 buy back there. Eight spots left in the uh, Heritage PYT. Buy a team and you could potentially win a Heritage box. Let me see what it's what I can do as far as a filler. Tomas, are you still in here, dude? Filler. See what you guys think about it. It'd be forty-two dollars. Eight spots of the remaining teams I have, which are A's, Braves, Giants, Mariners, Padres, Phillies, Rays, and the Rockies. In a full case break of Heritage Baseball on my website, ripcitycards.com. If you buy a team, you get a chance at a Heritage box all to yourself. And I'm giving away two boxes. So if you buy two teams in the break, you could potentially win two boxes. Now, I do say potential because I'm giving away two boxes in the entire break. It's not like you buy a team, you're going to get a box. Oh, no. It does not work that way. So let's do it, folks. Let's fill it up. JSM, uh, for the millionth time. No, it's okay, dude. I know, I know you have a life out, outside of this. Um, but if you want to get the WWE box, I have one loose box. You know, and seeing as how it's a loose box, and I don't know what came out of the, the rest of the case, I could sell you that one loose box. Cheaper than I would the you know boxes out of a fresh case, and I do have a, f a fresh case of it. Um, so if you want to get the orphan, I could sell you that box at two twenty. But if you want to get it out of a fresh case, it's gonna be about two fifty. So Jerry, you want a spot in the filler? That's what I think I understand. All right, put you down. Hopefully we can fill this thing quick like. I got seven left. The Heat are up by almost 30 points here in the third quarter. Lord have mercy. What's up, Ray? The Heat got a 27-point lead on the Wizards heading into the fourth quarter. Crazy. D-Wade putting him on skates. D-Wade still got the handle. He might have lost a step. 
Might not have the explosion he used to, but he could still sauce. You and me both, Ray. You and me both. Although, difference between me and you is, uh, well, obviously, I'm, I'm not a cook, so that's the main difference, but, dude, after the eBay breaks, I could pretty much bounce if I feel like it, and if the room remains dead as it is right now, I'm probably going to do that. Ed Edinson Volquez of the Marlins, that's a short print. Prime rib is great tonight. What kind of... What kind of animal is prime rib anyway? Isn't that like pork? Because I, I, the reason I ask is I cannot eat pork. Well, I think this alarte might be a. Uh, yep. Base short print for Young Gervis Alarte Blue Jays. All right, JSM, I'll go ahead and get you the orphan. Uh, once I'm done with this here. Prime rib is beef, as in cow. That's probably the the, the question I should have asked: is what what animal is is that? Because I can't eat pork. Paul Goldschmidt of the Diamondbacks with the black border and it's a refractor so that's numbered to 69 you know I got I got a sensitive stomach I'm lactose intolerant so let me ask you a question Ray since you're a chef I don't know if you've ever made pizza before but I'm sure you know how how to so seeing as how cheese is a pretty much a main ingredient of of pizza how would you go about making a lactose free or you know a pizza for a lactose intolerant person basically and still make it taste like pizza if that's even possible because I love pizza if, if you could not tell so the fact that I'm lactose intolerant kind of kind of kind of kills me. Ah, see, I don't, see, I don't know about the different cuts of meat. Learn, learning a little something, something from a boy. Buster Posey of the Giants. That's an action image right there. Badoosh. Rich Hill of the Dodgers. That is a base short print as well. Altuve of the Astros with the Deckel. Nice! Dick Trukuski, I think, for the Tigers? Autograph in this half of the uh, break. Very nice. Super hard to hit an autograph in Heritage. Insanely hard to hit a red ink autograph. Hand numbered to 69, giggity. That's nice. Nice break right here. Tigers and the Angels doing work. Angels did hit an Otani base card. So that's pretty sweet. Might not hit the autograph, but who knows. It could be in the other box. It's no Al K-Line Auto by far, but it's pretty sweet because it's red ink. Ben Zobris of the Cubs, base short print. Got a random the Nixon flashback card there. Really, five dollars for the for that Tigers card? It's still nice. 
I'm sure that the, a Tigers fan, old school fan will, will, will like it. You know, people people don't like some some people don't you know try to sell this stuff rah rah. Believe it or not, some people just like to collect it and let it collect dust in their attic or something. You know, and then and then whip it out years later and then sell it. Or give it to the next generation of collectors. Cra crazy, crazy idea, right? Crazy idea. What's the nicest thing you have in your collection, Ron Ron? Do you even want to divulge that information? By the way, Joe, I just want to confirm that I got your payment. And I'll rip that for you once I'm done with this. Which I'm almost done because this is the last box. Okay, how about how about this, Ra Ra? I know uh, I know some baseball, but I know basketball, football, and soccer really well. So out of those three sports, what do you have that's like the fanciest of the fancy? Probably got yourself a nice small fortune there if you ever decide to uh, sell it. Times get hard and whatnot, you know what I mean? And you don't, you don't want to be like me giving up strange behind the McDonald's. You just go ahead and sell that stuff on eBay. Pay the fees and call it a day. And go, and go take your earnings and go live like a king somewhere in the Netherlands. Or Thailand. I'd go to Thailand. Thailand's probably really cheap to live in if you got the dollars. Oh, I just heard some bubbling. So it's mostly baseball you have? I know you said all sports, but... Let's 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 go with basketball. Mantle, nice. Those are some big names. Ink on it, I'm assuming. Is all your stuff graded? Like all your high end stuff, rah rah? Or like, do you not even bother to, to grade it? Period. Now you got Chamberlain and Jerry West, the logo? And Bill Russell? Sick. Are they autographed? Any of that? Or. Because uh, apparently autographs didn't become a thing until like the last 20, 30 years. So, those cards from those eras probably were not autographed. Alright, last box mojo. Let's see if we can get anything for you guys to grade. Cole Hamels. That's a base short print for the Rangers. Wow, Vintage is not autographed, correct? Correct me if I'm wrong there. Deco for Giancarlo Stanton. Yankees. Ooh, I got the bubble guts. Too much information, but your boy got to hit this bathroom. So I'm going to speed things up here just a tad. I 
Action image for Manny Machado. Orioles. And why would he want you to grade it? So he could rob you? That's what it is, huh? Sneaky dude. So you gotta watch out for the man. Gotta watch out for those so-called friends. Felix Hernandez of the Mariners with a patch. I do remember seeing that Will Chamberlain card. I do remember that at the National. A thirty thousand dollar card. What? Wow, that's insane. If I remember correctly, that thing wasn't even autographed. It was just like a rookie Chamberlain. Right? Yeah, it was. Frazier, Yankees, Deckel. Man, that vintage stuff is sick. I need I need to do like you do, Ra Ra, and go to like fucking random little like garage sales or you know shit like that. Cause people some people don't even know what they have. Did he get it? Did did he? Did you or or your boys or whatever get anything graded at the national? And if you did, is it cheaper to just go to the national and get your stuff graded there as opposed to just mailing it in? Scherzer Nationals deco. You know the grading might take a little minute, but at least you get it like within that weekend. I'm, I can only assume. Plus, some of some of those chicks in at the PSA booth are just hot. At least last year, I don't know if you remember Ra Ra, but there was there was this one chick. She was a little on the short side, but she she was cute as fuck, and she had a fat old booty. Dude, a George Mikan for the from the Minneapolis Lakers would probably go for for some nice coin. Black border for Jody Jordy Mercer Pirates. That's a big short print. Jose Urena Marlins. Yeah, dude, everybody's at the national. So you could you could dump some of the stuff on someone else and they're gonna fucking drool all over it. I do, I do, JSM, I do. I still think about that chick from the PSA booth from time to time, I honestly do. She was so cute, oh. I wish I had the balls to talk to her. Maybe at the next national. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? To finish this off, Chris Sale, Red Sox Chrome. And that's the break. All right, so a few things to random. We'll do that here in a second. Yeah, I mean, rah rah. Why, why sugarcoat it? You know what I'm saying? Let's just let's just be honest. I I know I might come across as a as a as a Mac Daddy, but believe it or not, when it comes to like talking to complete strangers, especially if they are of the fairer sex. Uh, your boy be locking up, low key. Unless I'm under the influence of something, then I'm probably not gonna care, and that's when I usually get into to, to most of my troubles. <laughs> um, all right. So before we do the randoms, let's open up this stuff here. Dude, rah rah, please, please do it, Mike, my dude. I appreciate you, but I know how to do my job, Mike. I know how to do my job. Come on now. So, Diego Segui of the Pilots. It is the Seattle Pilots, which actually belong to the Brewers, I believe. So, there's that.
No, right, right. I mean, the older I get, the fewer barriers I, 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 I have. And I have noticed that, at least when it comes to the, to the younger chicks, I just talk to them however the fuck I feel like it. And then with them, it's honestly easily. However, that chick at the PSA booth, now she was older. And that is how I don't know how to approach that. Tony Cloninger of the Reds with the 69 buyback. Here go the box toppers since Mike uh, can't wait to see him. We got Ben Benintendi in the back, which is the Red Sox. Rays, Mets, Dodgers on the front. So, guess what? Got a randomness. And what do we have here? Well, rah rah, you could say say whatever you want. I could care less, man. I'm, I I have no shame in the game. I, I make them sign a contract too, so there's also that. Uh, I, and of course, I play that. I'm like, yo, look me up on YouTube, and then boom, it's a wrap. Bryce Harper Nationals on the back, and we have Astros, Angels, and Phillies on the front. Boom. So we're going to have to random those things. Uh, also going to have to random some of these. The flashback cards. And these as well. So this has two teams, three teams. I'm going to random these here in a second. And then there's four teams. So as you can see, got some work to do. Alright, how about I just do it like this. And then I'm going to double check my work. Alright. Boom. I'm internet famous, girl. Yeah, right. Girl, go on YouTube. Type in Rip City Cards. Okay. Ooh, are those your hands? They sure are. Ooh, boy, you got some sexy hands. Mm-hmm. And I know how to use them, too. Ooh! Come on over. And it's a wrap. In a perfect world. That's how that would go down. Well, Ra Ra, if you do, man, we definitely need to knock back a, a couple brewskis, if anything. Or, you know, some apple juice, if, if you want. If you want to do apple juice, we can do apple juice. We'll get apple juice wasted. Alright, sorted that there. Cool. Random time. So let's roll the die. First thing we're going to random is uh, the then and now, which is two teams, one on the left and one on the right. Odd number on the die goes to the left team. Even number, right team. Odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. The number two. So it's going to the right side team. So it's going to Marlins, Indians, Yankees, Marlins, Red Sox, Dodgers. Let's write that down. Uh, can I get you an exhibitor pass? Probably. Probably. I mean, <laughs> I am Cardboard Moses after all. Alright, so we rolled the number two. And uh, we're actually going to use that number two. I'm not going to complicate the randoms here. So with these, there are three teams. Left, center, and right. So that's how we're going to random this. It's either going to go to the left side team, the center, or the team on the right. We're going to go two times in the randomizer for this. Here we go. Once. Twice. Boom. Going to the center team. So the center spot is going to be, for this one, Rockies. Nationals, Mets, A's, Indians, Indians, Yankees, Diamondbacks, Red Sox, Yankees, Indians, Nationals, Indians, Mets, Red Sox, Indians, A's, Nationals, Nationals, Rockies. Boom. Like, yeah, I mean, Robert, I might be able to hook it up, man. I might be able to hook it up. All right, so we got four on this one. I have one, two, three, four on this thing. I will do my best, Fitz. I will do my best. So I assign numbers for this one. Going to random it two times. 
Top number gets these. So four teams. One, two, three, four. Good luck. Put it on the screen. One, two. Money shot. So it's going to the center team yet again. There you go. So this one go to White Sox, Dodgers, Dodgers, White Sox. And last but not least, the flat. Well, actually, there's a there's the box toppers too. So let's do the box toppers. Now for these, we got teams on the front and teams on the back. So it's either gonna go to the left side team, the team on the center, team on the right, or the team on the back. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Pull up the randomizer. Going twice in the random. Good luck. Once and twice. Going to the team in the center. The center team finally getting some love. All right. So center team is going to get the box toppers. So this one will go to the Angels, and this one will go to the Mets. Now let's random the flashback cards. In order to do that, we got to random those between all teams. Uh, we did not sell veteran base in this. So let me go ahead and copy and paste all the uh, teams there in the randomizer. As you can see, going twice, top team wins the flashbacks. Good luck once and the money shot twice congrats to the braves who win the flashback cards which are these right here all right and that's it for randoms yes sir yes it is so let's recap these 69 cards are right here the Seattle Pilots, if I'm not mistaken, belong to the Brewers. Uh, I did have a little situation where one of my sorters mistakenly sent Pilots to the Mariners because it said Seattle on it. Silly girl. And it's not her fault. It's not her fault. I should have told her, hey, uh, please double check the checklist. Don't just assume because it says Seattle on there that it's a Mariner. It's all right. People make mistakes. Uh, I, I got the situation under control. That card is going to get sent to the correct person. So there's that. Now, as far as the pilots, I just want to show you something. The checklist. You see how it says Seattle Pilots franchise goes to the Brewers. And to take it a step further, this guy's name is Diego. So Diego Segui. He's not even, well, this is the buyback, so whatever. The point I'm trying to make is that the Seattle Pilots go to the Brewers in the checklist. This is a Seattle Pilot, so it goes to the Brewers. Well, rah, rah, you'd be surprised. You would be surprised. Let's recap it. So we hit a few patches, three to be exact. Felix Hernandez Mariners, Max Scherzer Nationals, and John Gray Rockies. We did hit an auto for the Tigers, Dick Trukiewski. Exactly, right, Mike? There's a Tigers autograph, red ink too, pretty sweet. Hit an Otani base for the Angels. No ink on it. Uh, see some action images back there. No ink on the Otani, but that's still dollar dollar bills, y'all. And that was the break, everyone. 2018 Heritage Baseball.